Hey everyone, welcome to Wrestle Talk, the Wyatt family. We're going to start out with Bray Wyatt, more commonly known as Windham Lawrence Rotundra, born on May 23rd, 1987. Um, he was also known on WWE as Husky Harris before as a part of the Nexus. Uh, he is the grandson of the late Black Jack Mulligan, and his father is Mike Rotundra, aka the IRS man. And he is the nephew of Barry Wyndham and Kendall Wyndham. He has three children. He was born in Brooksville, Florida. Uh, his brother is Bo Dallas. Um, his ring names include Axel Mulligan, Bray Wyatt, Duke Rotundro. Husky Harris, Levi Wyatt, Windaham Rotundra, and Windaham Rotundro. Six foot three, two hundred and eighty five pounds, built from Brooksville, Florida, Layfield, Louisiana, and Snake Bright, Florida. He was trained by Barry Windham, FCW, and NXT, and he debuted in two thousand and nine. As Axel Mulligan, his finisher was the stunner. As Bray Wyatt, his finisher is Sister Abigail, which is a swinging reverse STO with the Nipix. As Husky Harris, a running senton and a swinging reverse STO. Signature moves include a body avalanche, drop suplex, running body block, running crossbody, running sing senton, short arm clothesline, and urinagi. Alright, urage. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I don't know how he pronounced it. Um, championship wise, not much. Uh, however, he is very young. Um, the only championship wise he had so far is the FCW Florida Tag Team Champion twice with Bo Rotundro, aka Bo Dallas. Um, he is married and has two daughters. He is a fan of the Oakland Raiders and the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has a bachelor's degree after deciding to become a wrestler, but he has a bachelor's degree in Troy University. He played football, so I'm assuming a football bachelor's degree or something like that. I don't know, because it doesn't really tell you. what he was a bachelor's in. Anyways, we're going to move on to Luke Harper, more commonly known as John Hoover. He was born on December 16th, 1979. Um, he is currently on injury for ACL, I believe. Um, he was born in Rochester, New York. He has one child, and his ring names are Brody Lee, Hoover Boy Number Two, John Hoover, and Luke Harper. Six foot five, two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Both from Buffalo, Brute, Montana, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Rochester, New York. Trained by Kirby, Marcos, Rick, Matrix, and Tony Mama Luke. And he debuted on October seventh, two thousand and three. Um, his finishers as Brody Lee with the Brody Bomb was the running set out power bomb, gut wrench power bomb, package power driver, and the truck stop, which is a spinning side slam. As Luke Harper, the discussed low clothesline or lariat, and the spinning side slam or truck stop. Signature moves include the body avalanche, suicide dive, super kick, among others. Championship wise, he has had a lot of success with championships. Um, inside WWE, however, the only one he had inside WWE 
so far is the Intercontinental Championship one time and NXT Champion one time with Eric Rowan. Um, however, outside of WWE, he has a multiple time champion. He will be in a new movie coming out in 2017 called Mohawk, which I did some research on already prior to this video, and it says it will be a horror film where he will be playing a horror guy or a murderer or whatever. Um, he is a playable character in 2K 15, 16, and 17. Um, he is married and has a son. Bray Wyatt, I believe, was also available in 2K15, 16, and 17. I know I forgot about that part. Um, I think that's it for him. We are going to move on to Eric Rowan, uh, more commonly known as Joseph Rudd. He was born on November 28, 1981. Is American professional wrestler signed to WWE, where he performs under the SmackDown brand. Um, he has two children. He has University of Minnesota behind him. Um, he was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and his ring names are Eric Rowan and Thor Morris. I'm not that right. Six foot eight, three hundred and fifteen pounds. Built from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Trained by Eddie Shark Key, and he debuted on September third, two thousand and three. Finishers include the backbreaker rack, the greetings from the north was the choke slam, a running splash, sometimes from the top rope, a full Nelson slam, a waist lift sit out side slam. Signatures include the bear hug, big boot, claw hold, sometimes transitioned into a one hand barrel throw or bail throw, multiple forearm clubs to a cornered opponent, among others. Championship Wise, um, like Bray Wyatt, he didn't really have a lot of championships. However, in WWE NXT, he was the tag team champion one time with Luke Harper. He is a playable character in 15, 16, and 17 of WWE 2K. He played football in college. He is also a trained guitarist, which means he can play guitar. Moving on to our final person for this wrestle talk, which is Braun Strowman, more commonly known as Adam Shear. He was born on September 6, 1983. He was born in Sheriff's Fort, North Carolina. He used to be a power lifter. His only ring names besides Braun Strowman was Braun Strowman, but it was just spelled name differently. Six foot eight, three hundred and eighty-five pounds, trained by WWE Performance Center, and he debuted on December 19, 2014. His finishers include the lifting arm triangle choke, the reverse choke slam, and the Yokozuka cutter. His signature moves are the big boot and the sidewalk slam. Never had a championship yet, but it, again, he's very young. But he did rank 163rd out of the top 500 single wrestlers in the, P I, I mean the PWI 500 in 2016. Not much really to talk about him. However, he did used to be a power lifter, as I said before. With that said, we're going to end this out. Um, if you guys like this wrestle talk, make sure that you hit. The like and subscribe button with a sister Abigail on that like and subscribe button. And if you are on Facebook, hit a sister Abigail on that like button for more wrestle talks. Next wrestle talk is Samoan Takeover, where I'll be talking about 
Samoa Joe, Tama Tonga, Tanga Rau, Manu Umaga, and The Rock. Have a great day. Peace.